Hello and welcome to a new video about valve constructions in pneumatics. Last video we do about valves. Uh, next time something else. Next time we will start with logics. Uh, next time we are starting to combine things. Now this is the final valve we are talking about. This is a time delay valve. Uh, so I again have drawn a little picture out of it for it for explanation reasons. Uh, well, it's a 3D model as well. Like always said, not a construction should show the principle. Yeah? So you cannot build it that way. Uh, very similar, but not that way. Yeah? Some details must be different. So from the outside, here is a one connector, here is a two connector, here is a three connector. Behind this is a three two way valve. Okay, And up here we have a one two connector. And this 1-2 connector, if we get pressure in here, after an adjustable time, this 3-2 way valve down here, this will switch. So this is actually the task of this. And here, to adjust the time, here we have a little turning knob. Okay, So this is a screw. How this looks like inside, Let's have a short look and cut it open. So here, down here, we have the 3-2 way valve. Currently, let's have a look. Here, one is the pressure line. It's here, this is under pressure. This is up, so this is sealed here. We will not get pressure to two. Okay? There's no pressure at the two line. And the two line, this is here. This is also here. Here we have a hole, so this is connected. This is connected to three. Yeah? So via this hole, three and two are connected. Good. Yeah? Then let's have a look at the one-two line. The one-two line here is connected, and this here is a throttle valve, yeah? a throttle check valve even. Yeah? So in this direction, in side direction, you see there is this needle. And this needle, there is only a tiny gap. There is only a tiny gap between this hole and the needle. And this can be adjusted by the screw. We can put it in and put it out. So we can adjust the throttling here. Okay? So this air which is coming at the 1-2 will slowly start to fill this chamber. Okay? If there is no air anymore at 1-2, and we have pressure inside here, this will lift this, this here and will quickly exhaust. So this is the, this is the throttle check valve here. Okay. So what will happen if we fill this chamber? Well, it takes a time until we build up pressure in this area. Okay. How much time depends on how close how much I've closed this needle simply. Yeah? Then we're starting up building pressure here. Yeah? If we build pressure here, we will start up to pull this down by the, against the force of this of this spring. Yeah? However, the more you know it takes simply a while. And then it will expand even if this is going down, it will expand and Again, takes some time and it will slowly push down this yeah, and at a certain point in time, book, yeah, we will separate the two connector from the three connector. Yeah. However, this will not stop pushing. Yeah. This is an even bigger spring here, so we need more force, so we apply more pressure above and it again takes a while and then Oh, now we are opening one and two. Okay, now one and two are interconnected to each other, and here is sealed. Yeah? So we are no longer connected to three. This took a while. How much time it takes can be adjusted via this screw. Yeah? If we if we screw it in, we will simply make this gap here narrower. If we screw it out. Yeah? We make it bigger and the more air can travel in, so it will take less time. Yeah? 
And so we can adjust how many seconds or how much time will pass with this, with this screw here. Easy. Very straightforward. So, and now if we stop putting here pressure, so if we de-air this, yeah, here we have now pressure inside and like I said, this will have not have to pass this little narrow gap here. We'll just open this yeah, quick, we'll quick exhaust now yeah, because it's a check valve in this direction. This will immediately travel up quite fast. Yeah. We will be we will close here, we will open here, we are at the beginning. Okay. This is how this looks inside. Okay. Time delay valve uh, consists of a one, two, of a three, two, one, two, three, two way valve, yeah, which will be switched and simply this chamber here is the one which which gives you the time. Yeah. That's it. Uh, so one switching, one switching position, second switching position does not really look much different. Well, up here it looks pretty much the same. This is the second switching position. Uh, open, closed. This is now open. To the let's have a look at the symbol. Uh, so we have a look at the symbol as well. Switch to camera here. Uh, And of course the symbol is reflecting, reflecting pretty much the same as we have just seen. Yeah? So we again have a 3-2-way valve built in. Lock rest position, spring loaded, yeah? it's the flow position yeah? and this will be operated by a pressure, yeah? however this pressure is also, there is also pressure vessel, pressure storage, yeah? this is this big area, yeah? and then of course there's the throttle check valve, yeah? so there's the throttle valve which is adjustable, yeah? and there is the check valve This is this valve combination, okay? And to show that this is really a combination and not just something, yeah? not separate valves, we again draw a frame around it. To group those parts. And we will number one, three, here we have the two connector, and this here is the one, two connector. This is the symbol of exactly that valve. Well, time delay valve can be used to delay the turning on. If we have another type here, then we delay the turn off and so on. So, yeah. Sometimes this is necessary. When it is necessary, we will start to talk about logics now. Now we know quite a lot of valves and how they look inside and so on. And now we're starting to combine those valves. Yeah? To combine the whole things. Yeah? So, pressure generation part, then control part and working elements, yeah? working part. Yeah? These things we, we are now combining and making some pragmatic controls. Okay. We will start easy, yeah? some principles and so on. This will then be in next video and then we are getting more and more into 
more complex grammatic controls. This will happen in the next future, in the next videos. Yeah, for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.